Hello everyone, and welcome to my The Young and the Restless official channel. I hope everyone is having a wonderful day. Before we begin, please hit the subscribe button and give this video a thumbs up. Where his loyalty lays is something Kyle Abbott must decide. On Tuesday, October 17, 2023, Ultra shocks Kyle with an unexpected employment offer, according to the Young and the Restless recap. Young and the Restless recap highlights. The usage of Phyllis's listening device information is a topic of disagreement between Jack and Billy in this episode as well. With Daniel and Summer, Phyllis follows up. Later on, she tells Tucker that she is well aware of his relationship with Mamie. Let's investigate what occurred more thoroughly now. Kyle and Audra had sexual relations in her room. He later recalled that she'd fired him when she asked him why they had ever broken up. Kyle was the target of an offer that Audra had for him, but she expected him to initially reject it. She inquired first about whether he had persuaded his father to offer him Billy's position. Kyle pleaded guilty to not having with rage. According to Kyle, his father believed he lacked the necessary skills. She attracted his interest, but he still felt expelled from the Abbott household. Audra said that after some more grown-up time, she might be able to offer him a job at Jibot. As expected, Kaya was perplexed by that. She gave him the position he was seeking and informed him that, at the time, his family was the company's only owner. Because Audra thought Tucker would get control of the corporation, she wished for him to join her alliance with Tucker. Although Audra pleaded with Kyle to give her a chance and acknowledged that Tucker had offered her the top position, Kyle questioned whether she was playing him. That allowed them to manage Jabot as a team, Kyle assured everyone that he wouldn't desert his parents, but Audra emphasized that he had no obligation to them. Kyle questioned her about her belief that he wouldn't inform his father of Tucker's plans while they were getting dressed. In order to encourage him to put himself first rather than take handouts from his family, Audra felt confident he would understand this made sense. Of course, he worried that everything would destroy his family— but Audra assured Kyle that they could maintain the lineage. Audra didn't care that Kyle had made the observation that she wasn't really a member of the family. As soon as Billy got to the Abbott mansion, Jack informed him that Tucker's bonsai had a bug. The identical ruse was employed by their sister years prior. Billy had doubts about Jack this time because Phyllis, Michelle Stafford, had given him a heads up. However, the knowledge was still applicable to Jack. Billy wasn't completely persuaded at this point, and he questioned why Tucker had Phyllis under his control. In Jack's eyes, it didn't matter why she was gathering the information as long as it helped them. In the end, Phyllis wanted to make amends with her children, which worked to their advantage in this case as Tucker wasn't aware that they were aware of the listening device. Billy had the impression that Tucker would recognize their attempt at deception. The dirty information they had on Tucker, however— was what he really intended to reveal. Dinner at society was shared by Phyllis and Summer. Being able to act normally made her pleased. They had given her a fresh start, Daniel remarked to her. While Daniel reminded his mother that having things go well for more than one day would be the real test, Phyllis talked about her new work while making a pledge to uphold it. Prior to going to the bar, Tucker remarked on how radiant Phyllis looked as soon as he entered— what was happening between them? Summer questioned. Tucker likes to make people uncomfortable, Phyllis said, playing it off. Daniel went over to speak with Phyllis after seeing Tucker scowl at her. Tucker adamantly maintained that he was envious of their family's beauty. He questioned whether he ought to be tolerant of Ashley Moore as a result. To find out, Daniel advised him to board a plane. To cover their dinner bill, Tucker made the offer. The two later met at Tucker's apartment. He reasoned that she had chosen to follow his agenda. The cars were all in her hands, though, according to Phyllis. He had a connection to Mamie, which she discovered after doing some research. She was aware of their partnership in silence. This left Phyllis in charge, and she questioned what to do next because she was certain of it. The Young and the Restless Spoilers for October 18, 2023, Hint that Diane goes way overboard. Diane Jenkins Abbott might overplay her hand. 
The Young and the Restless Spoilers highlights also feature Tracy giving Jack some advice and Mamie directing her nephew Nate in the right direction. Jack has Diane completely smitten, and she is ecstatic. The only issue they face is that their son Kyle is experiencing chaos in his life as a result of breaking up with Summer. Despite recently celebrating their wedding with friends and family, they are currently enjoying their honeymoon phase. To date, Jack has rejected Diane's strong recommendation that he fire Billy and replace him with Kyle. Is there something else going on with Diane that will cause her to cross the line, or will it be related to her job? Wisdom, Young and Restless Spoilers the majority of Genoa City, and occasionally even her family, look to Tressie for moral guidance. She is constantly on hand to give her family and friends a good pep talk while maintaining their trust. We believe Jack will pay attention to Tressie when she offers advice. What does he require advice on now? Mimi is back in Genoa City, ostensibly to help a family regain its former greatness, possibly in connection with whatever Tucker has planned. Nate is directed in the proper direction by her. Is that in favor of collaborating with his cousin and away from Newman Enterprises? If not Victoria, where else might it be? Is this the last stop on the Y and R road? And R spoilers hint at a victor who feels like he has total power. He is faking dementia with knowledge of what he is doing. He is aware of his goals, his plan for achieving them, and the reasons why this achievement will add to his list of Newman victories. But there is one problem he hasn't considered. No why and our spoilers speculation. Adhere to the pattern. We don't blame Victor for faking yet another illness. His kids have always rushed to his side whenever he has done it in the past, even that time he pretended to be actually dead. All past transgressions are instantly pardoned. We're here to worship as needed because sick daddy is saint daddy. Young and the Restless, the mogul who cried wolf. Victor can only visit that well so many times though. Sooner or later, his children will figure him out. Adam already has low regard for his father. Victoria is upset about her promotion. And Nick is just enraged by everything. This latest act will feel awfully familiar, and they're due for a rude awakening. Why and our spoilers. Wake me up before you go-go. It's about time for all of Victor's offspring to recognize that Victor has misled them since the day they were born. And that's the end of it. Victor believes he can manipulate his kids into confessing they don't love him as much as he thinks they should, or into falling back in love with him. Either way, they'll all fall in line. Victor's plan from the moment his kids were old enough to fight for daddy's love, uh, the CEO of Newman Enterprises, has been to divide and conquer. As long as they resent each other more than they resent him, Victor is in the catbird seat. But did it ever cross his mind that he may annoy them so much this time that they'll join forces as he's always wanted, except it would be against him? They've done that before too, right? So what do you guys think about this update? Let me know in the comments below. And if you like my videos, please press like and subscribe for more. I'll see you guys next time.